What is up everybody? This is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH and in this video, I'm going to talk about the most important gear or equipment that you can ever have sa production system ninyo. And this is the reason why tumutunog kayo. This is also the reason why maganda yung tunog din sa church. And this is very, very important. As I said, this is the very most important thing. Grabe yun ah. So, if you're interested, then check this video out. <laughs> If you are new to this channel, please do me a favor and lay hands on that subscribe button and also yung like button below para mas marami pa yung makita sa video na to. So ito na nga, the most important gear that you can ever have sa system ninyo is your mixer. Yes, yung maraming faders at saka buttons at saka knobs dyan sa church ninyo. Boring siyang tignan, siguro intimidating siyang tignan, but that is the most important gear you can ever have. Now, Here's the analogy kung bakit siya yung pinaka-importante. In the human body, no, the small thing that makes everything function is actually yung part sa katawan natin that is hidden, na hindi nakikita, and that is our brain. So, the mixer that we have at church is the brain of our entire system. Now, without a brain, you can't really function. So, eto, what are the three major things you should consider when purchasing a mixer? Sa amin, what we considered, me and the team, sa pag-purchase namin sa mixer namin are these three things. Number one is inputs. Gano karaming inputs or instruments, individual instruments ha, yung mapaplug namin sa mixer na to. Ilang instrument ba ang pwede nating i-line in sa mixer na to? Number two, processing. Very important kasi processing is what makes your sound good. Dito na yung gain, of course, um, EQ, equalizer, compressor, gate, effects, reverb, delay. Meron din um, feedback suppression. Fortunately, ours have one so we have no problems with feedback. Number three, outputs. Doon mo malalaman kung sa ilang speakers mo masisend yung outputs mo. This also determines how many independent mixes you can send to your band or to your singer or sa mga speakers mo. Basically, we're using in-ear monitoring system so we had to have as many outputs as we can. Dapat kasi, one musician, one output din para independent yung mga mix namin. Meaning, yung naririnig ko sa tenga ko is different from what our drummer hears or what our guitarist hears or what our bassist hears because we have independent mixes. Brought to you by multiple outputs. So eto, here's a quick look sa mixer namin, kung paano namin siya kinonsider, how we planned it all out, paano namin nilatag yung mga inputs and outputs namin so that we are buying the best purchase for us. What we are using sa church is a Soundcraft UI24R and yung channels na nasa itaas, those are the outputs. So eto, live, main, left, and right, sub, drums, bass, acoustic guitar, guitar, keys, service worship leader, and co-lead, that's CL. And then yung sa baba uh, are the inputs. So doon namin pinaplug yung mga instruments namin. Bass, acoustic, down to the pastor. Ayun, and meron pa kaming USB to computer. etong maliit nga, USB port dito. And that is for our digital input. So nung Christmas namin, we use that for our tracks. Ayun, cues namin. Kasi gumamit kami ng tracks. Uh, we used Ableton doon so that may extra outputs kami. <laughs> yung live sa upper left. Yun yung live stream namin na uh, aux outs. So basically, headphone out siya, but we're not using that as headphone outs. So what we did was, we did that for broadcast. So yan yung sinisend namin dun sa broadcast room para dyan mag-mix yung broadcast na sound engineer. Of course, main left, right. So yun yung main speakers namin. And then, aux one is our subwoofer. We call this the aux fed subwoofer. Sineparate namin yung control ng subwoofer so that mas may control kami. Yung kick drum, yun lang yung sinesend namin sa subwoofer. Yung bass, yun lang yung sinesend namin. Siguro yung keys sa some songs na kailangan ng bass synth and all that. Tom 2. So the advantage is we can just choose ano yung channels or inputs na nasisend namin sa subwoofer resulting to lesser feedback. Kaya medyo little to no feedback issues kami sa church. Okay, uh, auxiliary number two, drums. So, from there, drums, acoustic, electric guitar keys, SWLCL, yun lahat, uh, in-ear monitoring system yan. I have a video on that, so if you wanna check our system, click 
right here, nandito siya. In-ear monitoring lahat yun, and that's very important sa amin. Ngayon, medyo nabibitin kami kasi marami yung members sa band namin. So, we're looking to, you know, upgrade this mixer soon. Siguro gagamitan na lang namin to for outdoor or small events. But we are looking forward to really upgrade this soon. Thank you, Jesus. Pray for us. <laughs> or, if you wanna partner with us, baka naman. <laughs> Down is yung input. So, nakikita nyo dito, bass, no, acoustic guitar, guitar left, right? Kasi we're using a digital effects processor ng guitar namin. So, we take advantage of the left, right feature. Boss GT10, ayun. Keys, left, right then very important. Stereo, if you can, please do use stereo. It makes your sound better. Ayun. Kaya din sa live, 1-2 siya kasi left, right yan, stereo. <laughs> okay, kick, snare. Uh, snare 1, Snare 2, Thumb 1, Thumb 2, Overheads, Click, MD, Crowd, Vox 1, 2, 3, Exhort, and Pastor, and then Media. I think this is what we planned sa first, and this, this is what we did. Ngayon, medyo naiba na siya, because um, ganun talaga, people change. No, <laughs> So from the beginning, this is what we designed it to be. The ultimate lesson for this is, you have to plan everything out. This is the best way to choose the right mixer for you is to get a picture of the mixer you like online and then ilatag mo lahat ng inputs at saka outputs mo doon sa loob. Kasi mas may visualize mo kung yung mixer ba na yun, yung kailangan nyo, or you're just too extra. Or yun ba talaga na mixer yung kailangan nyo, or binabarat nyo yung budget nyo kasi nga, um, ganun talaga sa church eh. Medyo hindi maraming budget minsan. So here's the thing, it will help you choose the right mixer for you. So that's it, this is the most important gear you can ever have sa system ninyo. So don't skip the part na magplan kayo at magbudget kayo dito. If there is a mixer you want tapos hindi pa kaya ng budget nyo, I suggest you save for the mixer you want rather than buying a, you know, quick fix mixer tapos you will regret it. Kasi that's cash din eh, that's, that's money. If you have plans of upgrading, ilatag nyo na lahat yan. Again, use this exercise so that hindi kayo magsayang ng pera. We want to be good stewards of God's blessings sa ating mga churches. So here's a good thing. If you need help and assistance into your gear also sa pagpili ng ano pa talaga yung mixer na kailangan nyo sa church ninyo or what do you need sa church ninyo, then I offer consultation services. I'd love to talk with you. Let's talk, let's talk. Click the link below, go to my website and avail the consultation services. Let's have fun and let's talk. So again, this is Kyle of Church on a Budget PH that aims to help churches become efficient and effective. And if you like this video, again, lay hands on that subscribe button so that you won't miss any video that I'll be posting soon. God bless you and peace.